Greetings, my children. I am Joseph. To use mental statements such as, God goes before me, making clear my way, is a good statement to use. Statements of this kind help to put into the ethers the vibrations that clear your way. Statements like this concerning prosperity and health are also good to use. The source of your supply is endless because the creator in you has an endless supply and it is always available to you. The creator wants to give you the kingdom, but you must take it, accept it, and know that your source is not limited in any way. The source from which your supply comes is endless. Now, the same thing applies to health or anything that you wish to apply it to, for you are the living child of God, of that great creator, and he is expressing through you. You must be a clear channel for his expression. In order to be a clear channel, you must think in those terms. Being an extension or an expression of God or the Creator. You have available to you all of the resources. You need only draw them to you. You must make clear the way. You must remove all doubt and know that this supply is yours and that it will flow to you. As you practice these things, your awareness becomes greater and greater, and you begin to listen more to this inner voice and to follow its guidance. The answer to every problem, to every question that you can ask, is contained within this universal consciousness. And you have access to the great doorway to this great storehouse. Therefore, there is no limit. The only limitation that you have is the limit that you give yourself and your inability to believe and to follow through. You must have the faith and knowing that all is well. Let all of your actions become actions of love. Establish that unconditional love in your heart. Know that no one can deprive you of your rightful place or your rightful share of his goodness. Meet all situations in love. That is what is meant by turn the other cheek. When someone insults you or does you wrong in some way, return love. That is turning the other cheek. Do not meet evil with evil. Instead, meet it with love. For love is the solvent of all negative situations. And I do not mean an emotional love, the love that most people think of when they hear the word, but an acceptance of your fellow man. He is expressing in his or her way. There is no doubt a reason for the expression of that individual. So look past and see the Christ light in that individual. Give him or her the benefit of the doubt, for love will melt a very bitter situation into a loving situation. These are the things that we need to remember if we are going to grow spiritually. We must take time to listen to that inner voice. This can be done in our time of silence. That is one of the purposes of meditation. It is to take time to listen. We often ask for answers to problems that are plaguing us, 
Yet, we do not take the time to find the solutions to these problems. We do not take the time to let the answers come to us. Every problem has a solution. You can solve that problem if you look for and listen for the answers. Then act upon them. Also, meditation is a time for attuning ourselves to become in harmony with all creation. We send out our love to all creation, to all mankind, to the animal kingdom, to the plant kingdom, and give thanks for the great abundance of of these things. Learn to be grateful and to give thanks and praise to this great power that supplies all of the good things of life. Take time occasionally to view these things, to recognize them. In other words, to use one of your phrases Take time to smell the roses and give thanks that they are there to smell. If you practice these things, life will take on more beauty. You will find more peace of mind and more harmony in your life. So, God speed on your journey. Now I must leave. As I leave, I extend my blessings to all of you. May the blessings, the peace, and the love of the Great One surround you. May you ever walk in peace. Peace. Peace.